Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to see how to create and export Facebook ad reports for yourself and maybe for your clients. And you don't need any extra tool or website or you don't have to pay anything. Facebook gives you all the data for free. Before we jump into the demo, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and like this video. All right, now let's jump into this. And here I am, first of all, log into your Facebook ads account. Uh, and I'm logged into one of my ad accounts that I manage. And once you are logged in, what you want to do is, let me resize this thing a little bit. There you go. You're going to click on this, this section right here called Ads Manager or those three bars. I think it's called Hamburger Icon. And then from this uh, drop down, you're going to select Ads Reporting right here. And then once you do that, it's loading. There we go. And I'm going to show you how to, so there's a, here's a report that I have saved. Um, and I create these on consistent basis on monthly basis or sometimes every, every two weeks, depending on what's our agreement with our client is. Um, but all right, so let's create a brand new report. So I'm going to click on this blue button, create report. And by the way, this is very self-explanatory. Facebook makes it super, super easy. Um, and obviously, you know, you can, first of all, you can name this report, whatever you want. So I'll just kind of call it test report. And then from the filters, obviously I had had delivery selected. Basically, I didn't want to include anything that did not run in the time period, right? And also from here, let's go back here. I can select, let's say last 30 days because I'm looking to create a report for let's say last 30 days for, for this uh, example or for this client. All right, now the breakdown. So how do you want to break this down? So for example, I have campaign name selected. So that's right here. So I'm breaking everything down by these are all like different campaigns. And then also I'm further breaking it down by the ad sets, right? Sometimes I don't include ad sets. So you can kind of like take that off. If you, it really depends on, you know, how much data you want to provide to your client or even if you're downloading these reports for yourself, you know, how much data you want to look at. And then also you can um, break it down by day. Uh, by, you know, there's so much uh, uh, you can do by objective. So there's so much stuff that you might even like call to action. All right, so that's the breakdown. Let's look at the metrics. So metrics basically is what metrics do you want to see the data on? So for example, if you look at this right here, so I'm looking at, um, I'm seeing data on the reach, impressions, frequency, results, uh, let's go cost per result, amount spent, schedule, stuff like that, right? Um, this is all under the metric. So breakdown, we looked at the breakdown and uh, we looked at the metric. And you can kind of like, you know, go through this um, if you want, sort of, uh, you know, select, uh, for example, let's keep going. I want to select, I'm trying to find something that I want to, let's say I want to select purchases. Not sure if we had any uh, conversion campaign. Maybe we did. Yeah, we did. So we have six conversions, right? Uh, cost per conversion. Or you can also just kind of search, for example, let's say I want to include CPC, cost per click. Um, I can include that as well. Look at that. Very powerful. Let's go back. So again, you know, you can go back. I'm going to clear this and go through this and select the things that you want to include in, in your report and then deselect the ones. For example, if you were running a page engagement campaign, you could select the page engagement. There's a lot of data. If you were running uh, video campaigns, there's a lot of data about the video plays, um, uh, three second video plays and so forth. Right, let's go back here. I'm going to go back to the, the breakdown. And let's say if I want to include the ad set. For now, I'm gonna, I want to include the ad set into so here's a, something else I actually can do. So right now, it's it's grouped by the breakdown. So if I ungroup this, so watch what happens. If I ungroup this, it's just gonna be you know just a list of all the all the campaigns, right? So it's not grouped by different like campaigns and the ad sets. But if I group by breakdown, now look at this. So now it's grouped by here's one campaign. Here are all the ad sets under that campaign and then all you know, the data for all the ad sets, right? And I, actually, I can even do uh, include the ad name as well. And now it's going to include the ad name, which is right here, right? And again, you know, you, you obviously, like I said, you want to see what type of data, how much, uh, uh, how much, how much 
breakdown you want to have in your reports for you or for your clients it's totally up to you but it's very very customizable that's what i love about facebook they they give all these uh us access to all these free tools and we're able to customize these to to our needs basically all right now so once you're happy with all the data that you want um i will just kind of click on refresh obviously make sure you have the right time frame and then click the refresh now i like to save it uh, so I can come back and my the selection for the breakdown, selection for the metric will be saved. And then I can run the same report next month and after that, you know, on the ongoing consistent basis. Um, now here is, if you want to export this data, and by the way, here's a, there's a share icon. Uh, you can share this report to people who have access to this ad account, which is sometimes we do it because um, normally these ad accounts are owned by, let's say, our clients, and they give us the user access, right? So we both have access. So you can also share this link with them. Or let's say if you wanted to export the uh, the, uh, the report or the this data, you can you have different options, CSV, the raw data, or the formatted. I try to do, I, I believe, formatted in the past. Uh, once you export, I'm not going to do it right now because I already have an example. So I'm going to just open that up and show you what it will look like. And basically, it's going to be Excel file. Look at that. So it's a campaign name, date, result type, results, cost per result. So again, you know, based on uh, when we ran that campaign, when we saved it or exported it, those are the columns or the metrics that we wanted to see the data on. So very, very straightforward, very, very uh, simple to access this ad reporting inside your Facebook Ads Manager. You can create, you can get all kinds of raw data for your ad account, for your campaign, for your ad set, for your, and it's super important. Here's a, a lot of people don't look at the ad um, reports or the numbers on frequent basis. I think that's a mistake because once you look at the data, you can learn a lot. You can see what's working in your ad account. You can see what type of images, what type of campaigns, uh, what type of creative, a, a lot of stuff. And then you can use that data, turn that data into insights and improve your performance in the, the future of your ad account or your campaign. Now, thank you so much for watching. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and like this video. If you have any questions, leave those questions in the comments below. And thanks again for tuning in. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye for now.